Some of these spots will peak overnight tonight, too. So they're starting out in the mountain communities and the deserts. We're already seeing some of those winds pick up. Mostly we're seeing about 30 to 40 mile per hour winds, about 35 in some of the higher elevations and some of the passes there. And then these will become more widespread as we head into the late afternoon and into tonight, too. So these northeasterly winds, they're going to dry us out. They're going to warm us up. And so we'll see the humidity levels drop. And then we will see temperatures warm as we head into uh, tomorrow as well. Today's off to a pretty nice start. Temperatures are mild out there still for the most part. Still pretty very warm out there for the high desert, but otherwise we're seeing a lot of 70s. That goes inland too, out into the Inland Empire, some low 70s. We're seeing a mixture of a marine layer and also some smoke out there. But this marine layer is helping delay the heat today. Temperatures will be cooler today, too. So that's all good news. But unfortunately, we are dealing with these winds and with the fires we already have burning out there. Uh, it's just unfortunate. So it is going to get a little tough as we continue to head into the afternoon. We'll have this red flag warning that will go into effect by noon today. And it will be through tomorrow night for some spots. And again, we'll see it peak uh, in some of the valley locations overnight tonight into the early morning hours of tomorrow. Wind advisories also going into effect through tomorrow, too. So some of these areas will be seeing gusts up to about 30 to 40 miles per hour areas like Santa Clarita. But then some of the higher elevations, uh, we'll be seeing gusts locally uh, up to about 50 to 60 possible with this event. Now, it is quick. It doesn't last long. We'll see these winds die down by tomorrow afternoon. So we kind of just need to get through uh, this about 24 hours or less of some winds. So here's a slow pressure system out toward the Great Basin, and that's going to be part of what's causing these Santa Ana winds. So as we head into the afternoon, we'll see some of these gusts pick up. You'll see they'll become a little more widespread, breezy conditions, and then really picking up and getting stronger in some of those valleys, areas like Santa Clarita. As we head into about midnight, some of those gusts getting up to about 35 miles per hour. And then you can see there's some areas locally where we're seeing closer to about 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. And then as we head into the morning, we're still seeing some very strong gusts at about seven o'clock tomorrow morning. By the time we start heading into tomorrow afternoon, though, those winds will die down. Thanks, Lost tomorrow, and then we see those temperatures warm back up as we head into later this week. I'll send it back to you guys.